Well, Julius, another gearbox, yet another digital mixer in a tiny, tiny format. That's a whole engine right there. It is, it is. It's the Allen & Heath QSB. Now, uh, those of you be familiar with the Q series from Allen & Heath, there's a range of models now. Uh, this is kind of like the Q Pack, which is a stage box sort of form factor as well, but they've removed all of the controls from the front panel. So as you can see from looking at it, we've got inputs, we've got outputs, and we've got some connectivity, including to the wireless access point that mm, we have running on the back. You've got a whole lot more than what's on the front here. You do, you do. Um, so you've got uh, 16 mic line in on the front plus um, TRS connections, but you can actually run, it's 32 uh, mono mix channels in it, plus four effects engines mm. and returns. So you need an extension. Box. Yeah, you can plug into the whole family of Allen yeah. Heath boxes. So they've got their, their big you know, I.O. box, their smaller eight line four, uh, eight, eight in four out box. So that's handy, I mean, you can just Ethernet off yeah. to boxes Dece around the Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're D-Protocol, D-Stack. Like yeah. um, and yeah, it, it's actually got the same structure as most of the rest of the of the Q-Series. Mm -hmm. And of course, control via the ubiquitous iPad. Yep. Pretty much does everything that uh, anybody else would be familiar with now. I mean, mm -hmm. you've got um, all full channel processing, um, you know, all the compression and ducking and uh, EQ, and it's got an RTA in it. It's got auto mixing. It's uh, got everything it's that the, the Q-Series has. It? Um, Ridiculously so, especially mm. for the price. Yeah. I mean, you've, you've gotten now just some ridiculously powerful gear in such a tiny, tiny little shape. It's just sitting there. Yeah, and it's, yeah, I mean, you can, I think you can rack mount it too. It's, mm. um, it's a ridiculous amount of power for the price. Again, you know, it's the slightly more premium mm. Allen Heath style build quality. I, I like this form factor. I mm. like it being raked back so you can yeah. see it. And, you know, so I've, like the, I've liked the ergonomics of every yeah. single Q series one. They've really put some thought into the industrial design. Yeah. Again, um, one I find interesting about this: there's no power button on this. Yeah. You actually just uh, plug it in. Um, again, if you know, if mixing completely off an iPad with no backup, you've got to be, you know, of the right frame of mind. I think I, there's still some of us out there who want a bit of hardware on the front, but that's mm. why they've got the other choice if you want to go for it. You know? I'd imagine the next the next uh, product evolution mm. is a limited form of hardware, mm, which mm. your iPad sits on. Right, right. So you've got some faders and some not. Yeah, there are some manufacturers who have gone down that route. Mm. It'd be interesting to see if Allen & Heath uh, do join them. Uh, but again, I think it always comes back to, you know, do you have a piece of hardware that's got direct access into the mm. machine that's controlling and not actually hooked up via some other external protocol or, or wireless well, link? You spend so. the extra money and you buy the desk. Mm, yeah, well, there you go. Mm. But um, look, for your corporate stuff, for, uh, for throwing it next to a stage and just mm. getting on with it, yeah. uh, there's pretty, there's not much you couldn't do with it really. It's yeah. until you get into the into the bigger sizes. And again, it's it's done with Allen & Heath's panache that they've brought to the rest of the Q-series. Mm. So, uh, mm. you know, I've got to give it up to them. They're giving everybody a lot of options.